My name is Rick Renner, and it's time for you to refuel. Today is April the 2nd, and I'm speaking from my book, Sparkling Gems from the Greek, and I'm dealing with subjects related to Easter. And today's gem is called, Have You Ever Felt Agony Over Situations in Your Life? Agony. And our scripture is from Luke chapter 22, verses 43 and 44. And the Bible says, And there appeared unto him an angel unto him, speaking about Jesus, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him, and being in an agony, listen to that word, and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. But I want you to particularly notice that the Bible says he prayed in agony. This word agony is the Greek word agonizo. The word agonizo is where we get the word for agony, and it describes an agonizing situation, and in fact, it was usually a, a, an athletic word which describes somebody that was in some kind of a fierce combat. And it tells us that on this particular night in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus was praying for my soul and for yours, he was in the greatest fight of his life. This wasn't a moment when Jesus got on his knees and religiously put his hands together and just prayed, but the Bible says he was in an agony. He was literally agonizing because he knew the cross was in front of him. No one would want to go to the cross. No one would want to bear the stripes that Jesus was going to bear on his body. In fact, that night, Jesus prayed three times, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. If it's possible, let this cup pass from me. And a third time, Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will. And that's important because Jesus' will, his mind, that's where the fight was. Jesus intellectually understood. He mentally knew they were going to rip the skin off of his body when they laid those stripes on his body. Jesus knew they were going to drive nails through his hands and through his feet. And even worse, he knew that he was going to bear the sin of the world and would be rejected temporarily by the Father. And he knew he would deliver that sin personally to hell. All of that was in front of him. Now, if you knew that you were going to face all of that, you might also be in a little agony. And in fact, this fight that he was in was so intense. The Bible says, in being in an agony, he prayed the more earnestly. More earnestly is the Greek word ektenes, which describes a person that is so discomforted they can't find a position where they can rest. So they keep moving this way and moving that way, and they're sprawled out on the ground, rolling and twisting and turning, almost like a person that is in pain. So now we see in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus is in great agony, the fight of his life. He's twisting, he's turning, he's writhing on the ground until finally the Bible says that his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. This is a medical condition which was determined in the magazine called JAMA, which is the Journal of American Medical Association. And they actually looked at this and determined that Jesus had a physical medical condition which rarely takes place, but it really is a real condition. When people mentally become under such stress, the mind begins to send signals to the body, and the body begins to think that it's under real physical stress. And even though it's all in the mind, the body responds as if it's under pressure, and the top layer of skin separates from the second layer of skin and forms a vacuum. The vacuum then fills with blood, it becomes so filled with blood that the blood begins to press through the pores of the skin. And because the person is already suffering and in agony and already sweating because of the intensity of the moment, when that blood presses through the pores of the skin, it mingles together with the sweat and becomes like a bloody sweat all down the face and not just the face, but the whole body. So before Jesus was ever taken to the cross, he was already a bloody, sweaty mess because he was in agony facing what was in front of him. And at that exact moment, an angel appeared to strengthen him. You know, God knows when we need help. Maybe you're facing a difficult time in your life right now, the greatest agony you've ever had. Do you find that at night you can't even let your mind rest? 
because so much is going through your mind, the things that are happening and things that could happen and the devil assaulting your mind and you're praying and trying to surrender your life and your will and your every detail of your life to the Lord. The Bible says that an angel appeared to Jesus and strengthened him. You see, God understands when we're going through hard times. And if you're going through agony, it's all right for you to say, hey, Lord, I need a little extra help to make it through this moment. And you may not see it with your natural eyes. But remember that angels are sent forth to be ministering spirits, to minister to you as an heir of salvation. God would even dispatch an angel to strengthen you to make it through this very difficult time in your life, just like he did for Jesus. And I want to pray for you. Father, right now I pray for my friend. And I pray, Father, that you would supply extra supernatural power to strengthen them as they go through this very difficult time in their life. Lord, you have been through agony and you understand. No one understands like you, Jesus. And Jesus, I ask you to provide all the strength that is needed for all of these people watching today that they could make it through this moment, make it through the struggle until finally they arrive at a great resurrection in their life and in their soul. In the name of Jesus, amen.